All right, so this is a big one. We're going to talk tax deductibility now. It's going to be a little longer, but it's very important. And this is all based on 2022 as I'm speaking numbers, and uh, this is all based off the 2017 Tax Cuts and Jobs Act. So uh, you can write off your mortgage interest if you own a house owner-occupied. If you're single, if that balance is 375 k or less, and uh, if you're joint, uh, filing joint and married, um, and that mortgage is 750k or less. Now, at the end of the year, you're going to have a calculation. You're going to say, well, should I take the standard deduction, uh, single or joint, or should I do this itemized deduction where I get to count up my mortgage interest and a combination of my state income taxes and property taxes and anything else? Well, let's do just one example right now, uh, pretty big one. Uh, let's say that you purchased a house of 700, excuse me. $900,000, uh, you got a loan on it for $720,000, and it's at 5%. All right? Uh, so throughout the year, on a balance like that, uh, you're going to pay income tax of about, or excuse me, interest of about $36,000. Property taxes on a $900,000 house are going to be $9,000 alone because it's usually 1% of the house value throughout the year. So you're going to add that. You're going to also add in uh, another $1,000 for state income tax. Um, the property tax plus state income tax deduction usually can't go above $10,000. So you add the other one k in and you get $46,000. So let's compare that if, again, this is a married couple, they want to compare this 46 k to the uh, standard deduction of four joint uh, married couples filing jointly, 25.1K. The difference on that is 20.9K. It's a lot of money. So. Let's say, for example, that they are in the 33% tax bracket. It's the difference of the extra money that they're gonna write off. And if they're in the 33% tax bracket, you multiply that by 0.33, that equals an extra $6,897. And that's only after one year of owning the house. Now in other years, it might go down a little bit, uh, but that sixty-eight ninety-seven a year that qualifies at five seventy-five a month. If you divide it by twelve, guys, this can happen. This is why your parents own homes. This is why so many people are so excited to get a house. Um, that's on the top end. You might not get a home with a balance of seven twenty, but look, there's potential here for you to save money, grow your wealth, and a lot of other ways, and just paying down the balance and having the house value appreciate.